Glidden and the Mustang. Nine poles, nine or seven wins from number one. Take a look at this timeline for you. Back in 73. Got his first win. He defeated Wayne Gap in the final round. What a career it's been for Bob Glidden here. Number one qualifier. He's qualified first nine times, and he won seven times from that number one spot. Final round milestone. We're talking 13 consecutive final round appearances, 77 through 89, that resulted in seven wins. Man, that'll never get beaten. He's also the most win the most wins of any time at the U.S. Nationals with nine. And in 1986 was his last start here at the U.S. Nationals. So now he comes up to the line again. Remember, Ed, it used to be his crew chief, put the car in place for Bob. On the other side, we should mention Sergeant John Gaydosh, because he's a former sergeant in the Army, U.S. Army veteran, and the car is dedicated to veterans. And written on the car, they all signed them themselves, were two Medal of Honor winners. Yeah, yeah, I went over there, and uh, they made me do it. Two Medal of Honor winners, though, here at this race this weekend. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, especially since uh, in Indiana, Sammy Davis, the big Medal of Honor winner, lives just south of here. I got to get Sammy up to this race, too. Both are trying to get in. Haven't established a uh, serious bump yet. Red light again doesn't matter. That's the second time we've seen Glidden kind of dart off to the right. Glidden 670, Gaydosh 683. Glidden is now in. He's 13th. Gaydosh is in. He is 15th. 